Hi everyone, um, two things. <clears throat> First of all, I just want to show you this. I've had this a long time and it's just for journaling, basically. And all it is is a piece of um, acrylic sheeting, stiff. And then these are foam cutouts of strips. They're not even or anything like that. But I'm going to use these on the mini for Beth Henry um, for journaling on the back of the big tags. Um, so I just thought I'd show you that because you can make these easy. If you can get some acrylic block, uh, get acrylic sheeting like this, I'm sure you could buy them in small pieces and uh, get some foam and make your own. Um, you could practically do anything. The other thing is, please go along to, it's X and, now oh, let me just get it right. X Anne Row 1. I'm sure, I don't know how you say it, Anne, you're going to have to tell us. Um, say your own name because I find it difficult to sit, to read. But it's X A N N E R O 1. Anne has just completed, and I've not commented on all her videos because she's done it a video every day, stage by stage, step by step, of a mini to show you how to make her gorgeous holiday mini. Now, if you haven't been along and seen it, please go and subscribe, go and have a look, and look at all the others that she's done. She is awesome. She really is awesome at making these minis. And I've just watched the last one, Anne, and I have to say bravo. Absolutely bravo, because you've done an awesome job, uh, my friend, and I'm, I'm just... It's the same mini I'm going to use for Beth's, for the line, the witch in the wardrobe. I'm doing Beth Henry. That's a uh, Kiro. Oh, one. I think it's four one. Is it? Oh, she'll kill me because I get it wrong every time. But she knows who she is. And um, just go along and have a look at it. If you want to make a gorgeous mini, she takes you step by step, slowly. She doesn't craft fast, so you miss something. And um, it's absolutely brilliant. And then have a look at her others because they're all awesome. I know Cathy Orta are fabulous, absolutely brilliant at doing things. But Anne is also just as good. And she is amazing in the minis she comes up with. And she does use the Aki Cut dies and things like that that she's designed. Um, but I, if you've not seen it, please just run along and have a look. And uh, sub her. I'm just amazed by what she's done and how she's done it. And I will be following your uh, tutorial and to do Beth's. Um, I have to give her a shout out because it's people like Anne and myself and some others as well um, who are trying to help other people. If you're a newbie, you could do that same mini even if it's your first project and you'll end up some with something fantastic uh, that's the point of showing people how to do things many many things and I say this a lot many many things look complicated you look at them and you when you when somebody comes on and they show you something that's already finished and you look at it and you go oh, I'll never be able to do that oh, and it is daunting and off-putting but when somebody shows you stage by stage, step by step, um, in every detail, your confidence gets boosted because you know you sit there and you can say, I could do that. And you can. Um, crafting's not hard. It only looks it in some cases. Um, and so I would, if I were you, um, give it a go. Whatever it is you've seen that you like, if it's a tutorial and it's done properly and, you know, step by step, give it a go and you'll be surprised how many things you can learn in a very short space of time. Um, that's how I learnt so much from my parents basically and I've said this many times before. They showed me how to do something step by step. Didn't always sink in at the time but as I did more and more and practiced more and more, yes I got it right. And yeah, my head's just chocker. It's absolutely blooming full. Somebody asked me again or made a comment. 
do I ever sleep? No. <laughs> no, no. Sleeping's too much. <laughs> you lose a lot of time sleeping because your you daytime is quite short, actually. And uh, having a full-time job as well as everything else I do, it uh, passes really, really quickly. So, no, I don't sleep if I can help it. I'll rather craft. But, uh, of course, I get sleep. But I'm just saying it's... Um, for all the newbies out there and and you're looking at all these videos and you, all, all these people that have made things and not actually shown how to do them, find those that have shown how to do something and you'll be surprised and amazed at how quickly, like I said before, that you can pick things up and then you can, it'll help you with your own mind when you look at something and say, oh God, I could do that. What if I did this? Oh, I would have done so-and-so. And that is all part and parcel. That's not you saying, oh, I'm better than you, or I could do it better. That's you. It's your learning process. It's what it's feeding your passion, and it's what you can say. Yeah, I can do that. So um, that's basically for the newbies and um, crafters who are still a little bit, un how can you put it, uh, unsure, uh, not quite confident to tackle something that they've seen. Um, and I think, really, to be honest, there are a lot of videos out there, tutorials, that do take you through step by step. And there's so much you can learn um, and then be more creative yourself. It's fabulous when I see, like when I did the, you know, the flower centres. When I saw somebody take that and add a little bead cap to it before the bead, that was absolutely brilliant idea. You know, it's not a major idea, it's a brilliant idea because I didn't think of it. I probably would have if I played about with them more, but what I'm saying is, because that's what my mind works like, how can I change something? And straight away, I mean, do you remember I showed not long ago the fan? It was um, like a, fa a miniature fan thing that sat in front of a fire, a fire guard. And um, I just saw a flower. So what I've done, I've taken it apart, added it to a flower, knocking on the beads, I'm going to be taking them off and redoing them adding some more lace underneath, and that's going to be an awesome flower. Um, but it's, it's looking at something and seeing what else you can see in it. Now, I've also said this before, I often, <laughs> when I'm out shopping or just out with the kids or whatever, <coughs> the grandchildren, I mean, um, you know, I look at a signpost and think, oh, God, if I'd have done so-and-so, I could have designed that better. <laughs> And I do say I could have designed, I don't mean it better, I would have designed it differently. Or I could if I wanted to change it and do it myself. Um, and I look at everything so, I never look at things for what they are. I always look at what they could be. And it's a great way to train your mind um, and to be adventurous in it, in your mind. Um, and that's where my motto comes from, which is think outside the box. You know, anything and everything. I mean, I've I've got this and I've already got an idea of how to make that better. Because I've looked at it and thought, yeah, it's good. I'm not saying it's not, but I can make that better. So I'm going to be doing some of those as well. Um, you know, like the roses. Take the middle out. You get a bud and you get a new, ro uh, a new flower. I just look at things and it's not a need to alter. It's just like my mind works like that. Um, and there's so many different things that's in your own heads that you don't really see or notice until you start to look at things differently. Um, and like I say, for the newbies, I, I said it, I'm sure I said it to somebody not long ago, walk around each room of your house and look at what you've got, whether it be an ornament, a plaque, a painting, uh, your furniture... Um, and picture them all in a different light. What could you do to either change it, an item, or to improve what you've got? And you can do that in every single room of your house. A toilet roll holder. How could you change it to look better? Or, you know, just to change it? Um, I don't know. Anything and everything. Take a blouse. What would you do if you cut the sleeves off a blouse and made them shorter and put lace on it? How would it look? Uh, shoes. 
my grandmother, <laughs> bless her, <laughs> although she used to do it and pocket the money and tell my granddad that she'd bought new ones, she used to alter her shoes just so they were different, and, and then, the, you know, they weren't tatty, they didn't need throwing out, but she was sick of them um, looking the same, so she used to stitch things onto them, glue things onto them. She'd do all sorts just to make her shoes look different. Uh, and that's where I pick things up from, from her as well. So it's just look at everything you have in your rooms. Go and have a wander around, have a look. And it doesn't matter whether it's, um, you know, if some of you have got the, you know, the, um, oh, what do they call them? The embroidered things on the back of your settees and sofas. You know, could you add lace to it to make it different? Your pillows, um, could you embroider your pillowcases to make them look nicer or different? It's, don't be frightened to change anything and see what you can come up with. You know, even my flannels, uh, face cloths, I look at them when I buy them and I think, God, I could put some lace on them and they, they just look pretty. When you fold them neatly and put them ready to be used, they just look pretty. Um, anything and everything. My shower curtain. Um, it's just a shower curtain. But then I could add things to it to make it look nice. Just glue things on. It never gets wet on the outside, but it would look nice in the bathroom. So, I mean, literally walk through your rooms and have a look and see what ideas you can come up with and come back to us and just tell us. Just tell us what room you were in, what you saw, what it looks like and how you could change it. And watch, because your idea might help somebody else with their idea. And it's training your mind to think outside the box. So with that, I'm going to end. Please run along and speak, uh, see Anne's video. That's X -N -A -N -E -R -O one Amazing what she's just done and taught us. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.